morning everyone welcome back oh i'm in a rush how are you all oh dear i'm getting ready i'm just getting ready to go to london for the day it's been a long time since i've been to london for the day i'm running late as per usual <laughs> um i'm actually going to a breakfast meeting with Damar and what's that yeah really looking forward to it seeing their winter collections oh I've just put on my MI eye foundation by the way I am I'm literally going for this every day it stays on well it's uh what can I say very affordable very affordable and as i said it's very much like the valentino um yes i just thought i'd start the vlog off here while i get ready i don't know what the weather's gonna be like i think about 21 degrees with possible showers I might have to take the big umbrella I don't know I don't want to I hate carrying stuff around in London oh. going in with the Code 8 palette and mine's busted I dropped it and I'm gutted I haven't worn this for a while I'm quite happy using the uh, beauty pie Actually, that was silly, Laurie. You've not even put any concealer on. Let's do that. Every time, the beauty pie. Lift and illuminate. I absolutely love this. I take the angled brush and the sharpest end and I just dab it. And I get one line there for those dark circles. And then I just tap it into those dark creases. And then in a minute I'll blend that in. And a little dab on the 11s is. It's got a real dent in there now. Don't know if you can see that. Very dark this morning, so I hope you can see me. Um, Anyway, I'll put you on a fast forward, I think. And I'll chat when I'm ready because I'm in such a rush. I will chat away to you and then I will be late. Not good. Speak in a minute. <laughs> Actually, I'll pause there. I've got this as well, the new MII bronzer. I'm going to be doing a whole face of makeup with this brand because I liked it. So there's the bronzer. Not too light, not too dark. I'm going to use this brush. Just go up there on the cheekbones. It almost probably look really dark because it's not very light outside and the lighting's not too great but it's really really nice and it doesn't look as dark as it does there trust me you'll see when I'm on the train I really like it good brand good brand for the price right
just finishing off with my Codate Lipstick Vanity. You can still buy this if you give them a call. It's one of the best nudes. I'm putting that over the uh, Studio 10 lip pencil. So I've done that to keep that on longer. <laughs> I look like a clown because it's so dark. Anyway, I'm going to get dressed, do the hair, zhuzh it up a little bit. I've uh, styled it back a bit more rather than a fringe. I just fancied a bit of a change. It's just easier. It won't look so flat. I'll see you in a minute. Right, I hope you can see me. It's very dark. Um, take no notice of the mess because... There's a lot going on. You can see in the background there all the boxes. I've just had a lily silk hole come in and it, oh, it's beautiful stuff. Anyway, this is the look. This is a balcony dress. It's one of my favourites. It doesn't crease a lot. I thought keep it simple but smart. Of course, I've got the Chloe sandals on. It's going to be interesting to see how these fare for the day walking around London they're super comfortable but I've not had a full day in them yet this shirt dress isn't available anymore but I know the shirt dress company are doing something very similar so if you like this dress I'm gonna leave a link down below because I just love the color yeah that's the look I'll see you on way we've made it onto the train and it's raining. I've had to bring the umbrella. It's half past eight. I've got an hour to get into where I need to be. My event's at half nine, so fingers crossed. I am going to have to go grey guns to get there on time. And hopefully, this weather's going to pick up a little bit. We'll do some nice shopping. We'll do some nice shopping. I've never met them before, even though we've worked together for a good... It's got to be coming on four years now. But anyway, there's some beautiful pieces here for the winter season. So I'm going to spin you round in a minute and we'll, we'll have a little look. It's really nice. They catered really well for my allergies here as well. We're at the carousel. Just off of that, uh, it's in Charlotte Street, which is just off of Oxford Street. But yeah, it's been really enjoyable. I've been catching up with other influencers that I've not seen for such a long time because I don't do the events like I used to. So it's been a nice catch up. Anyway, I'm going to show you around now and uh, show you the new collections. Let me know what catches your eye. I've already made a mental note of the request of what I would like for this winter. There's some lovely pieces. There's some really nice pieces, yeah, so let me know if anything catches your eye, ladies. I'll speak. These are lovely and I love this pink. It's really, really super soft but thick. <laughs> There's a dress as well that I really like. Lovely puffer coat. Look how cozy that is. 
Really nice with the fur and the collar. Flared jeans. You know I love a flared jean, ladies. And I like the hem on these ones. You see they've got that thick hem. I like this as well. I think this is their um, invisible range. Keep you nice and cosy, but I can't help thinking how nice that would look under a black blazer in the winter. This is one of my favourites, definitely. This gilet. Can you imagine this with a nice cream knit jumper? Super cosy. I love the lining inside, and I like the contrast in belt as well. Really, really nice. Um, they're doing a lot of velour at the moment. Apparently, their velour was very, very popular last year, so they've relaunched that. This actually caught my eye. I quite like the print, that little pop of red in there. Um, that's actually quite nice, isn't it? It's like an ombre evening skirt. That's quite nice. And then you've got the you've got your sparkly collar. That's very nice. I like the print of this. The skirt. Um, I've just shown you the dress in this print. I think this is very Ralph Lauren. Really, really beautiful. The trousers are lovely. Excellent quality. Very weighty. I bet these will hang lovely on. And my favourite green ladies. Nice little top you can pair that with. And this is another favourite. This dress. Look at the pleating on this, the sleeves. It's really lovely. You've got a ruched waist there. There's some really nice pieces. Look, high neck blouse. Always love that. Cuffs. All elasticated. Very easy to wear. Another beautiful print. That's going to look lovely with a dark pair of jeans. And of course a shirt dress. I've had a few of the Denmark shirt dresses and I've loved them. Then you've got the aviator coat and some more jeans. Actually these jeggings are quite nice. I think I would go with them because you've still got the belt loops on there. Yeah, they're the perfect fit in jegging. Oh, I'm interested in those. Beautiful material. That's very similar to the Boutkin dress, isn't it? I bet the price isn't so similar. £605, wow. So I'm just in Liberties at the moment. Look at the scene, it's just so beautiful. All the staircases. Just thought I'd come in for a browse. I got absolutely soaked in the rain. The hair's gone straight, but I'm still going to have a fun day.
just heading into Dior. Oh wow, look at this. Is that their version of the Barbie pink, do you think? having a little browsing Dior. Oh, it's beautiful. So oh, I love the homeware. Look at that tissue box. Oh, it's just all so pretty. Right, we're just outside Ralph Lauren. We're going to go in and have a little shop up I think, have a little try on of some bits. We've just bought coffee and tea and it's really lovely outside. I don't know if you can see it but there are not enough seats, not enough seats. But it's nice, I, I want to look at the uh, homeware in Ralph Lauren as well. So yeah, we're going to have a little look and I might try on a few bits and pieces. I like the little setup outside, it's nice. And it's quite warm, it's not rained anymore, thankfully. But look at the view, oh my goodness. It's gonna have to be a I don't care. It's been lovely, people watching actually. In Bond Street, we've got all the posh shops. I love the little Boodles ice cream parlor over there. Yeah, Tiffany's, we've been in Dior. It's a nice afternoon. Right, stepping into a posh hotel. Oh, wow. I think I prefer this to the Dior, you know. Wow. I love these big glass lights. How retro, 70s. Wow, look at these lamps. Well, ladies, this is a changing room. I'm in my element. The Ralph Lauren homeware is just absolute. I think I prefer it to the Dior. 
I love that. That would look nice in the room, wouldn't it? Anyway, I'm going to try a couple of bits on, so let me know what you think. I am so glad that I came and tried these on. These are the chinos. I've tried, this is a size 10 and they fit perfectly. I love this olive green, khaki green colour and the striped shirt. This is also in a size 10 as well. I really like the chinos. They're like the H&M cigarette pants but just a lot more heavy duty. You know, this is what I want. Classics. I love the fit of them. I think they're great. Yeah, really nice. Love the colour. But at least now I know what size I am. Really, really nice. I want them. I want to take them today. But I can't afford them today. I will take a screenshot and then I'll look online. But yeah, really, really like this. The shirt feels beautiful as well. It's silk, green stripe, very classic. Imagine this with a nice tan belt. It's just a lovely classic outfit. See, I love this, but it's very, very low cut. Hence why my camera is in the way. But so beautiful. This is a drawstring here. And it's all pleated. The sleeves, let's have a look at this sleeve detail. It's just really pretty. I'm surprised actually there's not a lot of Ralph Lauren in here. It's mostly the purple label, which is way too expensive out of my price bracket. It's like a thousand pound for each item. But yeah, I do like this. I'll link it, ladies, and the, the price. It's really, really pretty. It's just a little bit low cut for me. I would pin that. So can you see that now? Right, let's try the next outfit on. Another lovely piece. This is a linen skirt. Side zip. It's for a size 10, it's quite roomy, but very comfortable. You've got pockets as well. I really like that. They're all sewn. The pockets are all sewn. Yeah, can't open them. But yeah, I would like this. It's something that I would wear quite a lot. It's a shame they don't undo the pockets. Can't get my hand in then you can't see if they gape oh there you go that is a lovely skirt I really like it you pair that with white creams what a classic piece and you know what I nearly didn't try it on because it's so crumpled but it actually doesn't look bad with the crumples I think that's the thing about linen you've just got to embrace those creases yeah it's lovely right that's that at least i know what my sizings are though really nice <sighs> morning everyone morning Bo. <laughs> perhaps i should sit on the floor because no one's seen you for a while since I've not had the puffet. Bo doesn't get up, obviously, on here with me. God forbid, she'd squash me to bits. Um, but obviously, you don't get to see Bo. And a, a lot of you have actually asked me how she is. Well, she's still like a two-year-old child. <laughs> she's just actually, I made my bed after I've just made it. 
She'll jump on the bed, spin round and round and round until all the bedding is in a bowl and then she kicks it off the bed. She's a naughty child if you don't catch her. Most of the time I have to have the bedroom door shut because as soon as she knows she can get in there, she thinks it's playtime. I'll tell you what, I'll move over and now uh, I'll sit on the floor with Bo just so that you can all see she's well and looked after. Let's get on the floor. You gonna say hello to everybody? Bo, come up here. <laughs> she's laying on the floor now, so you can't see her even though I've sat on the floor. Shall we show everybody how pretty you are? You gonna sit up? Come on, up you get. Up you get. Yes, good girl. Sit down. Not on me. Sit down. She's going to sit on my lap. She does like to sit in my lap. Sit your bum down then, come on. No. She's just dug this up out of one of my pots, haven't you? <laughs> and brought it upstairs. Would you like it? What, yeah, yes, Paul. There you go. Off you go then. I do not need to hear you gnawing away at that. Okay. Well, ladies, what a day. That was a lovely day in London. I just wanted to jump on and say goodbye rather than just cut the vlog off, you know. Um, but boy, do I feel my 60 years today. I did a whole whopping 17,000 steps. <laughs> I was impressed, even I was impressed with that. I didn't realise I'd done that much walking. And the Chloe sandals, they, they were so comfortable. I would say they were as comfortable as my bionics. I, if, I'm norm, if I know that I'm going to be doing a lot of walking, it's always the bionics that I go to for. The, the bionic shoes and uh, I was so desperate to wear those Chloe sandals to that event I thought I'm gonna wear them and I took flip-flops with me that they I put them in my friend's bag and um, I didn't even need to use them I didn't even put the flip-flops on so that impressed me a lot 17,000 steps in a pair of Chloe heels and I've seen that they do the same sandal in black I've been looking for a pair of black sandals as you know for some time and I'm eyeing them up and I'm thinking I really like them I love them and I think the black is perfect as well I don't know I'm gonna finish paying for the tan ones first and then if they're still available I think I'm going to buy them because I really like them and you don't feel like you're wearing heels. You feel like you're wearing flat shoes and you've still got that elevation. But anyway, 17,000 steps in them. I was disappointed with the uh, Ralph Lauren store. Uh, clothing wise. I mean, walking through that homeware, oh my goodness, it was out of this world. It was like a whole apartment on one floor. They literally built it all like an apartment and it was just absolutely stunning. What I wouldn't give for a place like that. But, you know, I was talking to Dee when I come home, I showed her the footage and I said, I just so love this style. And, uh, but I live in a 1960s, two up, two down terraced house. It doesn't really cater for that oldie worldy style. Although I did think the Ralph Lauren home was modern and traditional at the same time. But I just absolutely fell in love with everything that was there. I preferred it to the Dior. I really did. But as for the clothing, uh, I went up to the floor where the clothing was and you've got children's, ladies and men's. 
and the ladies section was really small and you don't get to see in there like your average Ralph Lauren polo it was the really high-end labels you know I think that linen skirt was 200 pounds which is it might have even been more than that I'll link everything down below but yeah I was looking forward to having a real good try on and maybe buying something you know just just a little something to come home with and uh, it the price bracket was just astronomical yeah it was a shame I enjoyed it though I loved the skirt uh, the chinos they weren't overly expensive the silk shirt that I tried on with it was expensive but I definitely I'm definitely going to look into getting those chinos I thought they was beautiful and I, I would buy them in all colors as well as much as I love my H&M cigarette trousers but I just really liked those trousers I love Ralph Lauren actually I'm a bit of a Ralph Lauren fan I think I do like this stuff anyway yeah I thought I'd just pop on before I say goodbye I came home with a lovely little jute bag from the damn art girls and a cosy scarf that I hope is not quite needed yet actually if I sat in the garden in the morning with a cup of tea I might need this I'm not even going to talk about the weather ladies what has it been like and I got absolutely soaked yesterday yeah look this is going to be nice with the coat it's really cosy soft yeah like that what a lovely gift and I've got a brochure of all the uh, new bits and pieces that floral dress oh my goodness how Ralph Lauren inspired was that it's right at the top of my wish list that dress absolutely stunning I want it badly and the perfect fit jeans but in flares um, I've actually got my perfect fit jeans hanging right next to me I still wear them they are one of the best jeans I've ever had I will say that I've worn them to the death I think I've had these ones for a good two years now and I wear them a lot as you know and I would like to try the flared perfect fit jean ladies the, the tummy control on these jeans is amazing I, I need a pair of those in my life but yeah look there's some lovely pieces coming up I always like to receive the Denmark brochure all the the pale blue coziness lot right down the wish list this is the problem now oh that's nice I like that jacket that's lovely the brands will all start to push their winter products now so you're going to start seeing jumpers and things coming in look at that bag I like that very nice how much is that 44.99 I think that says that's really unusual and good for the summer I like that yeah oh look there's some perfect fit flare jeans on I need those in my life ladies yeah I'm actually not too hot do you know that what has happened to our weather there's the blouse that I picked out, the floral blouse. I thought that was lovely. If any of these are available at, right now, ladies, I will leave links below anyway. But I am very much looking forward to seeing the Denmark winter stuff. Very nice. Yeah, anyway. Like I say, I'm... I'm going to wear my flip-flops all day, I think, today and take it really easy because I'm absolutely shattered. Are you shattered, Bo? No, you're always full of beans. 
I'm glad I'm not taking you for a run today. Oh my goodness, I don't think I'd cope. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give a thumbs up, ladies. And I'll see you in the next one, which is going to be, uh, I'm pretty sure it'll be the H&M trial, which has already been filmed and I loved it and I kept more than I should, as per usual. So I hope you'll join me for that. And then another weekly vlog, which I need to start filming. I've got some ideas, I've got some unboxing to do with you. I couldn't do it in this one because... The film would just go on forever and you know how much I can waffle. So yeah, that will be for another one. But until then, love to you all and I'll see you in the next one.